Hi Pisces, it is time for our daily get-together, you guys. It's Sunday, January 21st, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out today for you, Pisces. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? What does Pisces need to know? Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's check into this. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so the very first card you have is the King of Wands, and then you have the Star, Aquarius Energy, and the Seven of Cups. Hmm. Someone's looking over at you, Pisces, and this person, they may actually be looking at you like as if you are their wish fulfillment they may look at you and feel like um there's something that they can give you that because i feel like this person sees you you know like you're a bit vulnerable we're going to go back and clarify the cards like we always do you have justice this is libra energy and then in the center of your reading, you have the Eight of Swords, the Fool, Aries energy. You may feel a bit confused about this person, Pisces. You may not wonder, I mean, you may wonder what their true intentions are, you know, but they're here in your energy right now. The next card you have is the Two of Pentacles. And then you have the Page of Wands. And the Ace of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Swords. And you have the Four of Swords. Someone here is not feeling well right now. That's not for everybody. But, um, yeah, there's someone that definitely shows up here with you. The Two of Cups is on the bottom of the deck, and then you have the Two of Wands. You're just not really sure, you know, of this person's true intentions or what's really going through their mind. Tell me why the King of Wands, um, do not pay attention to the gender, but there's someone here showing up as a King of Wands, someone who really desires you. Okay, so you have Temperance. This is Sagittarius Energy. Temperance twice. And you have the Two of Cups. I really like this, Pisces. You have Temperance coming out twice. And then you have Two of Cups. Whoever this person is, they are... They find peace with you. They literally see you as a wish fulfillment. All right, this person wants you. This person, with you being in their life, they find balance and they find peace when you're around. But I'm kind of getting you kind of standoffish here a little bit because I can see that you're that you're confused about this person's true intentions tell me why the star is here You're very guarded, Pisces. You have the Nine of Wands here. So 
you're very guarded and that's why you're um that's why you may be feeling like uh i don't know about this because i'm seeing here that you're showing up like the wounded warrior the nine of wands you're showing up here like you've you've built a wall around yourself over time um the high priestess that's pisces energy you've put a lot of work into yourself here you seem to be someone who doesn't really like to show everyone behind this veil of yours there's a lot in your mind um a lot about you that you don't like to reveal so you do appear to be a bit of a mystery to this person the death card is riding in this is scorpio energy so i'm seeing you know that there's something here that is coming to an end and i want to find out what it is and so i want to clarify this death card all by itself tell me why the death card is here Six of Swords. Okay, so spirits are telling me here that you've been through some type of rebirth. You put a lot of work into yourself. And you have, um, or you are in the process right now. Some of you, the timeline could be a little bit off. But I'm seeing you moving yourself into calmer water. Tell me why the Seven of Cups is here. I also feel like you have a lot to offer this person, Pisces. And so that may um, leave you feeling a bit vulnerable too. Like, eh, I don't know what, you know. It's causing confusion with this Seven of Cups energy. And you have the Chariot and you have the Six of Wands. This connection, if it's not here right now in your energy, I definitely see someone showing up here in your energy, Pisces. Um, I'm seeing you as someone who is, I, you know, you are... I feel like you attract success easily and um, I feel like you have embraced your power. If you haven't yet, I'm seeing you doing that. I'm seeing you being very, very powerful here. I, it's something here about your life is coming to an end and there's a change coming in. And it's coming in very, very fast, Pisces. It's just a matter of whether you want to take this connection with this person or not. Because you're, you're up in your head about it. Feeling a bit risky about this one. Tell me why the Chariot and the Six of Wands is here. three of swords you've gotten to where you are right now pisces because of pain you've been through a rebirth um i feel like this is a spiritual rebirth and there's someone new it's this is showing up as a newer energy and so for some of you, they're here. For some of you, they're to come. But I feel like this person is going to be someone who's going through some type of struggle in their life. And you could be offering them a helping hand. The Page of Cups. This person might be younger than you, Pisces. But I see you offering out a helping hand to someone. And this person, they want to help you. 
back. We have justice here, so I'm seeing a truth coming out. You could have had a fight. You could have had an argument with this person where you felt like, I'm just walking away. I'm closing myself off. I don't want to look at it. I'm not making a decision. I'm closing myself off. Tell me why this fight happened. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Five of Wands. There's a conflict. I feel like there's a big difference between the two of you. And that's what this conflict is. And there's um, other people here too in the energy that um, are causing some type of a distraction in your person's energy. Tell me why the Eight of Swords is here. But you both think about each other a lot, Pisces, with the Eight of Swords. You have the Two of Wands. There's this feeling of being stuck that the both of you share. The Seven of Pentacles is here now. So I feel like things have moved very quickly or things will move very quickly as far as investing um, something showing up as pentacles here in your energy, which is something in the material world. And you both feel rooted here together. Seven of Swords is here, but neither one of you tell each other. There, There's information on both sides that is not being shared with each other. Not just them, but you too. Um... You have Leo energy here with the sun. And I'm seeing this person like literally Pisces. This is someone who's coming in acting like nothing's wrong after a fight or an argument takes place. They're like, I'm here. And it's like you're sitting in this position, you're sitting in the position here where you're feeling defensive and you're feeling like some trust has been lost. And you could even feel like walking away with the Eight of Cups. <coughs> I don't, I'm picking up a bit of innocence from this person, honestly, or being naive. Tell me why the fool is here. Yeah. I'm seeing you saying, okay, I'll take this risk. <laughs> I'm still leaving my options open. Um, but okay, we'll start again here. You could be dealing with the Taurus with the Hierophant here. You have the Hierophant here and engaging in this again. Tell me why the Eight of Cups is here. I feel like this person's going to say something to you that makes sense. It's like, no, I, I wasn't ignoring you or whatever caused this, this argument. They're going to say something to you that makes sense. And so see right here, you can see this Page of Cups energy. I'm seeing you giving back to this, whoever this Knight of Wands is once again. It's like, okay, I'm here. And here they come. Right back again. 
this person they seem very strong to me Pisces like I feel like this person is the one rowing the boat like this person does something in your life that is very attracted to you attractive to you so again you begin again you begin here with the six of swords and then again here with the six of swords and then it there's a commitment showing up here once again like okay let's try it again let's do it again brushing it off and then you have the two of pentacles next so looking into the future for most of you Unless your timeline is off, you're kind of going back and forth on something here. Or juggling. I want to say juggling. Because I'm seeing some clarity of mind. Like the confusion being cut off here. But you're still kind of held back with the Four of Pentacles. Tell me why the Two of Pentacles here... But this person, they bring in a busy energy with them, Pisces. And so you could feel like you're juggling. But the sun is here. So there's the sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck. It's also a card of healing. There's something here about you running around with this person, going and doing things with this person that makes you very happy like planning the little things the eight of pentacles is here yeah i'm seeing you you know you thinking in your mind here when i'm looking into the future of into your future energy it's like yeah i want to work on this and what you want to work on here is walking away in judgment your decisions that you've made about walking away and then you have the page of wands showing up here because i feel like you're making something really difficult on yourself it's like you're adding extra pressure to your life, extra work to your life. Because work is coming out with judgment. So it's like when you make this decision, when you make this judgment call, um, it creates a lot of work for you for some reason. Tell me why judgment is here. Yeah, it's because of love. The Ace of Cups. And so you're making a decision here that, okay, let's start again. I really love you. Let's start again. And then you have the Page of Wands. All right, so the Page of Wands, this is good news. The star is a healing energy, all right? And it's a new beginning. It's a healing energy. And what the star is healing is I'm seeing here that you could have felt some regret or sadness for having this person in your life or feeling like, why did I trust them? And being up in your head and worried. And this is being released here in the future because there's a brand new passionate beginning taking place with the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of attraction between the two of you. And I see it beginning again. Tell me why the Ace of Wands is here. Strength and the Queen of Pentacles. Leo energy is here strong, but you could be dealing with any sign. And the Queen of Cups. See, and what we're clarifying here is the Ace of Wands 
right here and look what's on the bottom of the deck the ace of wands a brand new passionate beginning and this uh, this brand new passionate beginning it's like you holding on and pulling together these two energies that you have within you the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups there's an energy here of you turning your focus on you your stability and having the love in your life that you want and so i'm wondering if this is difficult on you because over here i'm seeing you juggling two things and then over here it's like you're it's like you're trying to play two parts, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles with difficulty here. Holding it all together. Tell me why strength is here. You may be giving too much thought or energy to one thing and not focusing on the other enough. Like the Queen of Pentacles focuses on her money or his and the home and the material things. And then the Queen of Cups, that's love, the love that you give. But why is this difficult? Why is... Look at this, Pisces. The difficulties here are because you need to make a decision about this Two of Cups, about this love in your life. All right, the King of Swords is here, and it's difficult strength is here because um, I feel like with the King of Swords here, it's almost like you're you're really up in your head. This is a strong King energy of being in the mind. Tell me why the King of Swords is here. Yeah, you're showing up like the King of Swords up in your mind here, Pisces, because you've already been um, in the past. I'm seeing here that someone could have ghosted you. Someone could have hurt you very bad. You could have felt a lack, a lack of money, but you're prepared to pull out this sword and um, cut people off and maybe a little bit too quickly. So let's clarify the overall energy here because the overall energy is showing me the same thing as what we're seeing in the reading. You have the Ten of Swords like feeling betrayed, feeling like something's over to the Four of Swords where there's a healing to this, to this ending. So let's find out how this betrayal started to begin with or what caused you to feel betrayed. Why is the you hurt when this person's gone and you walk away, it hurts. Why is the 10 of swords here? But see, you're the one who keeps making the decisions here. All right, the 3 of cups is in reverse. The Nine of Cups and the World. See, there's something about you, Pisces. The Nine of Pentacles here. Backing away from this person. Turning your back on them and looking out into the future and going into hermit mode. Virgo energy. That... That hurts with the Ten of Swords where you feel like everything's over, everything's done. When there's no reconciliation, when the chapter of this book ends, and the Nine of Cups is here again, another single energy. 
okay? It makes you feel hurt and betrayed. But then you have this energy right next to it, which is the Four of Swords, which is an energy here of you healing. Why is the Four of Swords here? You have the Page of Swords. Yeah, you're back and forth on this, Pisces. And you do have an investment, some type of an investment with this person that I'm seeing. But this is why your readings, you guys, have been going like this lately, back and forth. is because you're going back and forth. And I'm picking up on your energy. And you're feeling in the darkness. You're not really sure which path to choose. And you're looking for answers. But really, you could even be praying for answers. You could be praying, you know. But really, spirits are telling you here. And it's just a rush into my head telling me it's up to you. Is what they want me to tell you. It's up to you. This is your choice. I don't see this person. I feel like this is a soul connection. And I feel like this is someone that um, makes you happy when you're around them. But you question this a lot. And you go back and forth about this a lot. The fool is here. It's a new journey for you. It's a new chapter of your life having this person in. It's a big deal. The Page of Cups is there like, are you going to offer your cup and, and stay here? And there's a big question mark in your head. And it could even be why you're watching this reading right now. But spirits are telling you the answers you need are coming, and this is full moon in Gemini, and expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Things don't stay the same. Things change um, and are changing a lot. So don't be too quick to rush into any decision. All right, and then we're going to pick up some messages for you that are hidden in the shadows. We'll start with Aries. Okay. Spirits, what does Aries wish to say to Taurus? I mean to Pisces. I want to tell you how I feel. Leo, I wish I could share my good news with you. Sagittarius. I don't trust you. Aquarius. I am different now. Libra. I couldn't tell you face to face. Gemini. I focused on you instead of my pain. Taurus. I am becoming a better person. I know I was a distraction from your pain, and my life is not as together as it seems. Virgo, I left you before you could leave me. Capricorn, I know that I crossed the line with you. Pisces, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Cancer. So many things remind me of you. Scorpio. I lied to you. All right, you guys, I want you to ask your angels a question. <coughs> and ask this question out loud. If you're able to. Um, that's weird. Hold on. 
Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to find my angel answer cards seem to be missing. Oh, I see why. I put something else on top of them. All right, you guys. Let's see what your angels want to tell you. So we have number one, number two, and number three. If you chose number one, there's something better. If you chose number two, choose a new direction. And if you chose number three, if you believe and don't stop for number three. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Um, thank you for all of your beautiful comments. And um, for you guys who have donated to the channel, I appreciate you guys so much. And I appreciate all of you for being here with me. And um, I love you guys. Sending you lots of love and light. And we'll meet right back here again tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste. All right, uh, Pisces, before I let you guys go, spirits have one more message for you. They want you to repeat this affirmation, like write it down or repeat it, have it going through your head today. And it is um, the phrase, I release all limiting beliefs. All right, so this is the phrase that I want you guys to think of today um, and try to repeat this to yourself throughout the day I release all limiting beliefs that's the message spirits want you guys to carry around with you today I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow Pisces namaste